Well, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. I hope that covers uh, covers those bases. Now, uh, a regular run that I do in the car takes me along the A505 from uh, sort of Cambridge, Royston towards Saffron Walden or the M11, Duxford. And there's a field that caught my eye uh, the other day and it caught my eye specifically because it's just a bright red and uh, it looks like it's full of poppies. Now I don't think you're going to be able to see that with the SJ unless I sort of move along. Let's have a look between these trees here you should be able to see something. So there you go just in the distance there you might be able to see that it's a field full of red and it really I mean that little view there doesn't give it justice it's massive. So what I'm going to do is I brought the drone with me. So let's get the drone out, pop it up in the air and see what that field looks like. Right, let's get the air out of the car then. Uh, I've put an ND filter on and I'm not going to go for the, for the Bonkers 32 today. I've actually gone for the 16, so it's the ND filter 16. Uh, now for those that are wondering, and I know there are hundreds of videos online, just have a quick look. These are by Ultimax. I know a lot of people recommend Polar Pro as being the ultimate in ND filters. I'm not sure. They're quite expensive and the majority of people that seem to write reviews about them have got them from Polar, Polar Pro for free anyway. So, you know, you're not going to give a bad review, are you? I'm going to use the 16. Now, the only reason you use an ND filter very briefly is because you want motion blur in your video that's it there's no other reason why you would use an ND filter uh, if you tried to film at 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second on a bright sunny day like this it would be virtually impossible it, it, it would be blown out you wouldn't be able to get the correct exposure and uh, shutter speeds and so on and so forth so you'd have to use an ND filter the ND filter then would enable you to be able to shoot at 24 or 25 frames per second and therefore get the necessary motion blur in your video to make it look realistic and what I mean by that is if I do this with my hand hopefully you see some kind of blur and that's what your eye normally sees. It normally sees a little bit of blur in everything that's moving. Now if you shoot at 30, 60 or whatever frame rates, uh, then you're not going to get that motion blur and the image is going to look very strange for some peculiar reason. Now you might not understand why it looks strange, but something in your mind's eye will be saying, I don't know what it is, but that looks a bit strange and the thing that is strange is that there's no motion blur so it doesn't look natural because in everyday life in natural surroundings with your own eyes uh, motion blur occurs so you have to mimic that to make your video or film look naturalistic if that's such a word naturalistic or or real and you can only do this by using an ND filter if the sun is out and it's a really bright day because otherwise you're not going to be able to get the frame rate and the shutter speed that you would need to create that blur and to create that blur you need 24 or 25 frames per second that's it there's no other reason the only reason you use ND filters is to enable you to create motion blur and I think there was a film a blockbuster and uh, I don't know if it was one of the Lord of the Rings trilogies or something else with those sort of miniature characters those gremlins or hoblins or goblins or whatever they are and that was controversially shot in I believe 60 frames per second and after the film had been released there was an outcry of people saying that it looked really bizarre it looked very strange and the reason it looked strange was because or it didn't look naturalistic because there was no motion blur. Everything was pin sharp. So all the movements 
were very pin sharp and that's not normal that's not real life now it was done with a specific intention in mind I'm sure but we're not ready for that kind of film and they quickly dropped that idea and as far as I know now they continue to fill at 24 25 frames per second to bring you that naturalistic motion blur so there you go hope that clarifies that right so today I'm going to put the 16 on because uh, there's nothing moving in the field there may be a little bit of rustling of the uh, of the poppies in the field and the corn but nothing that I'm going to sort of get too excited about so the motion blur is not really a big issue and you may say well if there's nothing in your image that's moving you don't need the ND filters because you don't need motion blur and to a certain extent that's right but as the camera is moving then you would need a slight bit of motion blur in the peripheral or peripheries yeah peripheries yeah the outside of the the outside of the image okay so you get two types of motion blur you've got me or the subject which is moving which creates a motion blur but you've also got the movement of the camera which also creates its own motion blur around the periphery all right so two types of motion blur subject and periphery due to the camera movement and today I think we're just dealing with camera movement uh, but I'm not really you know sort of too much bothered about it I just want to get the brightness of the colors to be honest and see how that pans out if it doesn't look very good on the screen later then what I'll do is I'll pop the 32 on and uh, put the 16 back away but without further ado let's uh, let's get the air in the air Well, mission accomplished. Uh, beautiful, quiet spot here, up this sort of lane. I'm sure it's a private lane that goes up to the uh, to the farm there, but uh, I wouldn't have thought they'd mind. I have pulled over right onto the uh, right onto the side of the grass here, so I'm not in anyone's way. But uh, hopefully, the footage has come out really nice. I haven't seen it yet, obviously, but as soon as it's uh, looked at by myself and edited, I'll pop it up and uh, listen to what you have to say. As always, bye for now. <laughs>